I wanted to uh, show off some of the stuff I've been doing recently. Uh, well, not really show off, um, and not really doing actually. I've I've just been playing around with R Markdown. You may have seen my tweets to that effect. I w I have plans of doing a video series on R and statistics. R, if you don't know, is a programming language that's sort of geared to doing statistics and data and stuff like that. Um, but one of the things that is correlated with R is this nice thing called R Markdown, which is a markup language that's, uh, well, as you probably can guess from the title of this video, um, I sort of like now. Um, now, this isn't the say, of course, the title is clickbait. They're always clickbait. Um, this isn't to say I'm not going to use LaTeX anymore. In fact, one of the nice things about R Markdown is you can put arbitrary bits of LaTeX code in it. That's part of why it's so great. Um, but for a lot of reasons, I'm going to just start moving to R Markdown for my main document formatting service. Um, so let me go ahead. So here is actually the, the little guide I was putting together for my video series I'm going to be doing. And one of the main reasons I wanted to actually use R Markdown other than just learning new things is uh, it natively comes with this nice little feature where you can just put in bits of R code. And R Markdown, when it compiles the document, will automatically run it. So it's like a knitter or these things. Um, so pretty much, if you look, you just put these little code blocks in here and they, they run automatically. Now, the thing about LaTeX, and it's always the elephant in the room when you're talking about LaTeX, is that a lot of the basics, it, well, let's put it this way, LaTeX is great for making research papers and term papers and doing advanced projects and stuff like that. But LaTeX syntax is very cumbersome. So if I just want to make a shopping list in LaTeX or something, I mean, I wouldn't make a shop, I make shopping lists on this, but if I wanted to make a really simple document to give to my students or, uh, you know, to give just a memorandum or something like that, uh, LaTeX is a pain because you can't just open it up and start writing. You have to document class article, begin document, end document, all this kind of stuff. Uh, to do things like bold, italics, you have to literally go in and write slash text df brackets blah blah blah. Uh, and you know the backslash. It's like the most annoying key on the computer to actually like hit. And of course, when I'm using Vim, I have a bunch of shortcuts. But the thing about that is, even when shortcuts are doing every all the syntax for me, it still ends up looking unintuitive. Um, but our markdown or any markdown language really uh, is a lot more transparent. You can look at this and know exactly what it is. I can send this to a normal person who you know uses Microsoft Word. They can open it and they'll be like, okay, I understand what's going on. I don't wonder about what you know slash slash tabular is or something like that. Uh, it's a lot more intuitive. Um, so the thing about it is, you know, you can of course have arbitrary bits of LaTeX code. So here I have slash table of contents. You can, of course, you can have pretty much anything. And uh, here's the table of contents that it actually prints out. So it's very good at actually reading everything. I, I've never had any kind of problems uh, dealing with, you know, moving between LaTeX and R Markdown. So the, the, you have all the power of LaTeX. Um, while at the same time you have a simplicity of writing, you know, all the basic stuff. Uh, you also have this ability to run code. It's not just R, you can run other stuff as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a little tutorial video after I put this thing up, uh, going through some of the specifics. Um, but everything is just easier. Um, I can also, uh, so right now I'm outputting to PDF. I can just as easily out to, output to HTML and it actually looks good. Uh, you can, so LaTeX has this, you know, way of compiling to HTML, but it just looks ugly. Our market, actually, I'll just show you how it looks because let me just delete this, recompile. HTML is default. So uh, if you just don't have anything in it, uh, uh, what? folder yeah so you can just open it up oh look in that one little key press i now there it is okay i now have a html file that does the same thing uh in fact i was actually contemplating rewriting a web a website totally in our markdown and have it so you could down you could look at the html or just download the pdf uh which might be an interesting idea um, but yeah, so so R Markdown is great just because it has so much going for it. Um, so I'm gonna do a little video after I do this. So this this video is just for raising awareness. Also because you know people have low attention spans, they like clicking on a bunch of little videos than long ones. Uh, but I think it, it'd be worth it to have have a separate tutorial video. But 
again, the, I think that I'm going to start using this full time for all the documents I write. I think there are good reasons to stick for stick with pure LaTeX for things like maybe your CV. So my CV has some a lot of macros that might be hard to replicate, or really it's basically all LaTeX. So if I put it in R Markdown, it'd basically be LaTeX anyway. Um, but for really all of the the research papers I'm going to be writing, I think I'm going to be end up using R Markdown just because it has. Uh, oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, it has citations just as well as uh, LaTeX does. Um, so I'm going to put up a little tutorial video that is going to be on doing all the basics in R Markdown, how it works, how to run it in Vim. A lot of people do it in our studio, but we got to do it in Vim on our channel. Oh, you know what? And by the way, there's going to be someone on this video who says, well, you know what? LaTeX nice. R Markdown's nice. You should be using org mode, though. Um, that's going to be the first comment. Um, but anyway, check it, check out the video I'm going to put up in a second. It's just going to be, um, well, I got to record it, but uh, it's going to be on just doing all the basics in R Markdown for someone who already is a little familiar with LaTeX or something else. So check out that, uh, check that out. So, um, but uh, yeah, so th this is just an update. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am thinking of doing. Uh, well, I'm going to do it, a series on statistics in R because that's a super useful thing. If you don't know what R is, it's fantastic. Um, but that's for another video. So see you guys next time.